2012 Sprinter interior walkthrough. I wanted to show you some of the interior features, hopefully answer any questions you have when you're viewing the vehicle. Starting up front, you have wood trim dash, leather wood trim steering wheel, color-coded door cards. Typically these would be black from the factory, but they're color-coded to the interior. Wood trim on the door handles. Navigation, DVD, satellite radio. Wood trim gear selector. Rear HVAC controls. Wooden center console, four cup holders. Cooler. Media input. Rear console, the JVC, I'm sorry, Pioneer head unit. Uh, this has a DVD capability, satellite radio, HD radio. There's a control unit back here for the rear passengers. This will control the reading lights. It'll turn all the lights on in the rear cabin. It'll also control the accent lights and the speakers. The button here that isn't labeled controls the uh, direct TV satellite dish. Below that, you have the power switch for the inverter. You run the inverter to power the 26 inch television and also to power the uh, house outlets. Here's the television. Polk audio. Speaker covers are matched to the wood trim. Vehicle has wood floors. Now there are carpets to protect the floors for uh, this front portion and this rear portion here. I just took them out so you can see see the condition of them no scratches no marks uh, like I said four captain's chairs no marks no rips no tears Here you have the controller for the television and the controller for the direct TV. Dual sliding doors. That is an option that you do not see that much. Very handy. Uh, each window has, has blinds. Bottom of the doors have uh, leather door cards. Again, color matched to the interior. You've got two tie down hooks. Now these seats actually come out, they come out quite easy. Um, there's one lever under the apron and you just lift it up, rotate the seat up and it'll come out. So if you did need to put anything in here, you did need to haul something, uh, you have the capability of taking every seat out. Show you the condition of the rear captain's chairs. Now, just as in the front, each rear passenger again has controls for lighting, reading, Lights, accents, lights, and speakers. And they have a control for the rear head unit, cup holder, 
at a charging station. Sorry if it's a little dark back here. The rear is carpeted, just as I said in the front. And again, I just keep them on to keep the floor from getting scratched. Color match carpet on the rear wheel arches. Rear passenger, I'm sorry, rear bench. bench. It's a convertible bench. It will fold down into a bed. Again, more controls for lights, speakers. The only difference on the controls back here is that you get a control for the sofa. And that's on both sides. This is a diesel heater. So if you want to knock the chill off or you're gonna be parked for a while and you don't wanna idle the engine, um, this auxiliary heater is tapped into the fuel tank. It's calibrated for high altitude. Uh, we take quite a few trips to Colorado. Uh, if you don't have it calibrated for high altitude, you'll, you'll run into some fuel mixture problems. So uh, you can run this uh, heater anywhere. Four Polk audio speakers in the rear. Wood trim. This is the pro air system that's controlled from the front. Again, every window has its own set of shades. He's coming out from the top. And these here are clothes hangers they fold up out of the way when you're not hanging any clothes accent lighting Provides a nice glow over the over the shades at night. And let's turn all the lights on. Now these lights here, these are the ones that illuminate when you open the door. Leather headliner. I hope that answers all your questions and thanks for watching.